Hi, Wise Families. It's Kate. Have you ever thought about how you show and receive love? Just how we speak verbal languages like English, Spanish, American Sign Language, and many others, we all speak a love language. While there are thousands of spoken languages, American pastor and author Gary Chapman narrowed down love languages and human relationships to five. Spending quality time together can be things like hanging out at the park, goofing off at home with your family, sledding down a snowy hill, holding hands with your best friends. My family likes to play board games. What do you like to do? How do you like to spend quality time with the people you love? We can show people we love them through acts of service. At home, this can look like doing your chores or helping someone do theirs. Cooking for others and sharing meals are acts of love. We can also use acts of service in our community. Have you ever volunteered to clean up your neighborhood or provide food, supplies, or services to others? Buying from small and local businesses, especially ones owned by your friends, really shows you love them. Wearing masks and getting our COVID-19 vaccines when we can are ways to show we love our neighbors and care about the health of our community. Words of affirmation can be a simple way to tell someone you love them. When I share a new video and receive emails like these from the congregation, it makes me feel like my work is appreciated. Reminding people that they matter can be a powerful message of love and solidarity. The look on Michael's face and the words, they're so good, are genuine yet simple ways of telling his bandmates that he loves them. Even a sincere and uncomplicated thank you can mean so much. Some people show their love language with physical touch. From holding hands to hugging or cuddling. From the time we're born through our whole lives, skin to skin contact releases oxytocin and builds bonds with others. Just remember to ask permission before touching someone. Physical touch might not be their love language. And finally, giving and receiving gifts can show someone that we've been thinking about them and that we pay attention to their interests. We typically think of gifts being exchanged on birthdays or holidays, but it can be fun to surprise someone with a gift any time of year. My friend gave me this pair of scissors because he knows I collect them. And we save boxes for our cats because they deserve gifts too. There are internet quizzes you can take to help you discover your love language, but really all you have to do is pay attention. How do you feel when you're just hanging out with someone? How do you feel when somebody does something nice for you or tells you you're doing a good job? How do you feel when someone holds your hand or gives you a hug? And how do you feel when somebody gives you a gift? We may have more than one love language, and we may use different love languages with different people in different types of relationships. But knowing what our love languages are can help us to strengthen those relationships, no matter what they are. Go in peace and go in love. Until next time, friends. Bye.